It's time for Macedonia! Yee! Hey Eurovoxers, Andy, Daniel and Clara here and we are here for the next edition of Eurovision First versus Last and this time we're talking about Macedonia. Yee! Yes, So guys, two very different songs there from Macedonia. Their first participation in 98, 20 years ago, um, with Vlado Janovski. Jan I got that wrong. Vlado Janovski with Nezori Zoro. Yep. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, this year, 2018, IQ with Lost and Found. But let's talk about Vlado first. Clara, what were your thoughts? Um, my thoughts, to be honest, was uh, the, I thought the song was a little bit outdated, even for the festival itself, because this is the year that Dana International won, so I was expecting something on the same level of modern and uh, catchy. However, um, it's a very elegant song. It, um, it, it wins personality when the back singers uh, jump in in the chorus, so... Not bad after all. It didn't perform terribly bad in the end, so it's okay. I guess it's a typical Eurovision song. What are your thoughts, Daniel? Well, I uh, I actually think that it's quite decent for those years, even though we had like Dan International or Croatia um, and Malta as well. They were mm -hmm. great. Um, I think the lyrics uh, are good, and I love I love his um, his vocals. He was actually really popular here, you know, for those years. He has many hits. I think he tried last year with uh, a new single, but he didn't do that well. So, yeah. But uh, mm, I think he didn't finish uh, in the bottom. So, I mean, I am fine with the result. <laughs> Daniel, were you even born when this song was performed? I wasn't. I wasn't. Oh but I God. saw the play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't born even when Denmark won. I, I'm born in 2001. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I, I definitely was born in 1998. I think I was... I'm not going to give my age away. Well, I, was, I, was, I was 14. And, um, I was born too. A older generation. Yay. Um, but I do remember watching this song when I was 14. And I, I didn't like it back then, to be honest with you. But I, as I've I got, wouldn't like it. I don't like it. No, it was, like Clara said, it was maybe a bit dated for its time. But I remember Macedonia, I think, had tried to participate a couple of years earlier and they didn't make it uh, to the contest in 96. So for a first song now, when I look back on it, I actually really appreciate it for what it is. I think it's a beautiful Balkan song. His vocals are really good. And Daniel, I think he's quite a, he was quite a big deal, wasn't he, in the 80s and yeah, back then he was. De uh, he, I guess he was definitely because you know my parents always say that uh, he was great and that uh, he has many songs uh, which are really still popular, like uh, for those generations. Obviously, like I don't listen daily to his songs. I have mm -hmm. checked them like twice or once, <laughs> and that's all. And there were a lot of big names in the festival that have returned. Uh, over the years, like this, Kate uh, Koitome, Edlicia Romli, uh, Dan International, Chiara, the, the Croatian singer you just mentioned. So he was, a, uh, he had a big competition to beat. Well, I don't think um, we went there to win. We still go to the contest only to participate, which actually I don't like. I think uh, when. Uh, uh, when a person, when, when whenever a competition goes, uh, it shouldn't go 
like uh, only to participate, but mm-hmm. you should go to win. And uh, like uh, our delegation still goes there just to be part of it and not to win, which mm-hmm. I don't agree with. Okay, so let's let's come forward now to the last uh, entry, which was IQ. Um, Daniel, give us your thoughts on this. You go first. So based on the studio, I love the song. Actually, it's um, my favorite one from all our songs. But then uh, if I compare it to, to the live performance, I mean, I don't like it. Like the staging was a big mess. I'm fine with her vocals, even though they weren't perfect. Uh, I don't like the drummer there. Like it wasn't, it was so unnecessary. But overall, as a song, I still listen to it uh, and I, I have it on my play- playlist. So, yeah, I love it. And I think it's way better uh, if we compare it to, uh, to our first song. I mean, from a dated ballad to this uh, modern song. That's great, I think. Both very different. Clara, you saw it live in Lisbon. Yes, I did. Um, I have to say, I think she was really distracted uh, with all of the movements on stage and uh, she had to look to the different cameras and she's turning her back. Then there's this thing with the dress. If they want to make this surprise costume under the actual costume, it was really visible that she had something underneath and that that pink uh, dress was going to go out eventually. So I don't think it was really well thought out. Then I also think that um, the backing vocals had their microphones really low so whenever they had to sing not only the harmonies but like an actual part of the song it lost power, the song itself lost power because suddenly the main voice uh, sounded really low so I think the microphone levels were not, uh, uh, the job was not well done over there How do you feel Andy? I feel really sorry for Macedonia the past couple of years only because when um, IQ came out uh, with this song, really loved the studio version. I like the video. Some people don't like the video, actually, which surprises me. Um, Maria, I think is the name. Yeah, Maria. Maria. Yeah. She, she is a great vocalist. Um, and I, I think, I know she hasn't been with the band for such a long time, but maybe like five years or something. I think they were really lucky to find her. Um, the staging of the song, uh, wasn't good. It was always going to be a difficult song to stage. Mm-hmm. So many different elements and different kind of styles in one mm-hmm. song. Really worked in studio version, did it well in the video. When it came to the live stage mm-hmm. in Lisbon, it just didn't work. And I agree with you, Clara, she had so much to focus on mm-hmm. um, that I think it took it took away from the performance. Mm-hmm. Song, song was great, performance uh, wasn't great for me. And when I said about feeling sorry for the past couple of years, it was similar to Yana last year. Fantastic, fantastic commercial song, but something in the performance um, mm-hmm. just let it down. So for me, Macedonia are trying to find their way, but they've still not quite made it. But I've got my fingers crossed. Um, mm-hmm. But guys, if we had to, if we had to choose uh, the first '98 or the last '2018, which one would you go for? Daniel's come to you first. For me, like it's super easy. I don't even listen to our first song. And uh, I listen daily to Lost and Found, so yep, I, I, I will definitely choose our last one. Okay, Clara. Same for me, it's a really good recording, recorded song and I really enjoy dancing to it whenever I'm, it comes up on my headphones and I'm doing whatever I'm doing, I just have to dance to it, it's just such a good recorded song. So is it going to surprise you that I'm going to go for the first one? <laughs> oh, <Definitely>. really? <laughs> Only because, as I said, I didn't really like it when I was younger, but as I've got older and more miserable, um, the song's really grown on me. And it's actually, I I watched it today to kind of refresh my memory. Mm -hmm. And I thought it's a a beautiful song. Good first song for Macedonia. Um, You know, there wasn't really any stage. It was just him there in his suit, but he looked so smart of his navy suit and his tie. Um, I think it's a song for Macedonia to be proud of. So I've been outvoted, but I'm going, I'm going first. But guys, that's only what we think. What do we know? We'd love to know what you think. Would you go for Macedonia's first entry or would you go for IQ, their last? Don't forget to let us know in the comments down there. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Otherwise, until next time, see ya. Bye. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.